Thanks, Aaron. So we're here at the convention center. I've been talking to some attendees about just how important it is to make sure that you're voting in your local elections, especially for us millennials. Let's see what they have to say. So I'm here with Anthony. How are you, Anthony? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm great. So where are you from? I'm from Houston. Houston, okay. So what are some issues you feel are facing your community here in Houston? Well, overall, Houston is a very wealthy city, but there are pockets within the black community where the schools are underfunded, the students are miseducated, and the unemployment rate is far too high. All right, so you talked about schools being underfunded, you're talking about unemployment. Um, what are some things that you feel that you can do to solve that? Well, I'm, I currently sit on the board of directors for SHAPE Community Center, which stands for Self-Help for African People Through Education. And we do have an after-school and summer youth program where we are working to educate the students to increase the literacy rates. But one way to improve the um, unemployment rate is we have to invest in black-owned businesses. And this will increase the property taxes to fund the schools and will also create employment within the black community. Great. So, um... What all have you guys done to kind of talk to, you know, your local officials about that? Well, I actually uh, served as a criminal justice policy analyst for Senator Boris Miles during the 85th legislative session. And so we were able to pass some smart criminal justice reform bills to help solve some of the problems, like to provide uh, former incarcerated members in our community with uh, job training, industry recognized certification, and high school credits to reduce recidivism and uh, increase their likelihood of being employed once they reintegrate into society. So did you know that in 2018, millennials are actually going to give the baby boomers a run for their money and be the largest eligible voting group? Wow, that's, um, that's interesting. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on that? I think that we have to be sure to engage them in the political process and make sure that millennials turn out the vote so that we can be the change we would like to see and transform this nation. Thank you for bringing that up because you know less than 50% of that eligible pool, despite us being the largest pool, less than 50% of us turn out to actually vote. So thank you for bringing that up. How are you Roxanne? I am well. Alright, you're looking good. <laughs> okay, so where are you from, Roxanne? I'm from Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. So right side of Philadelphia? Yeah, you got it. All right, all right, okay. So what are some issues you feel are facing your community in, Phil in Upper Darby? Well, I would say education um, for children. Our schools feed into just one major school for middle school and especially for high school. So um, I would love more opportunities educationally to put our kids in quality schools. That would be something that I would be really concerned. I'm a parent of two high school age children and they have to be bused to independent schools which are financially taxing. So you're, you're talking a lot about education. You're talking about, you know, a good quality education and just a lot of options for students in your community, yes. more options. So what's something you feel that can be done to solve that? Well, for one, I think um, people need to be present in their current educational source. Showing up for parent, parent meetings um, is a big deal because a lot of times they acquire data at those facilities and at different schools to um, make decisions about how much we care about our children. So show up at your children's school and show up for the parent meeting. And if not, connect with a neighbor, connect with somebody to offset their schedule. It's important. Okay, and so you want parents to become more involved. Do you suggest them talking to you know their local officials, like mayors and stuff like that? Um, I think start starting baby steps, um, go into the schools, get to know the teachers and um, speak with the different principals and be involved in your parent associations and then have the school outreach to the state reps and be present more than anything else. I think when you show that you care for your children, people are going to be more steadfast in showing that they're going to go through their um, positions in a proper way. I think they'll give them more quality. Great. Sounds good. Sounds good. Those are all great tips. Thank you for that. One thing we can all do to better serve our communities is to vote. There is no level of government that is more directly responsible for serving your community than your local elected officials. And this year, it's predicted that millennials will overtake the baby boomers to be the largest eligible voting bloc. So what if I told you that people 65 years and older were on average seven times more likely to vote in their local elections than those 18 to 34? 
This year, we as millennials are in a position to ensure that what's on our ballot is a reflection of what matters to us, and just in time for our local as well as our midterm elections. So if you're not registered to vote, check your state's registration deadlines, tell a friend to tell another friend, and make sure that your local officials are taking care of what matters to you.